We are at Lake Grayson's Parker Creek Recreation Area. When you go north of Murfreesboro, turn left at Narrows Dam and follow the signs up the hill to the Parker Creek Rec Area. There's a boat ramp there, as you can see, and we are back this way quite a bit at the end of this cove, and there's a parking area here. I want you to be able to find the Cinnabar Mine Nature Trail. So uh, there are one, two, three, four, five parking spots here, plenty of room to park, and watch for this sign. This is your clue to finding where the trail starts. You are here. So this, this is what you want to look for, and we'll go and there will be a culvert up here. I'll show you that culvert, and then you can take the trail to the left or on up the hill this way, and, and then it, it comes back down. But round trip loop is just three quarters of a mile. It's really not far. So uh, the only thing challenging is it's steep. But what goes up must come down, and it's a lot easier on the way down. So if you make it to the top, uh, you got it made. You, it's all downhill all the way from there. But see, it's a little hard to find the entrance to the trail, but watch for this culvert. Poly culvert, this plastic pipe under here. And a little ditch, there was a frog yelling at me a little bit ago. Oh, there's a snake in there right now. Yeah. Well, oh my, I think that's a copperhead. Well, anyhow, uh, maybe the snake ate the frog. Yeah, that's a copperhead, all right. Well, shoot, that takes a lot of fun out of it. But anyway, uh, just beware. <laughs> but um, so you can cross the culvert and come this way and go up the path and you watch for these orange diamonds on each side of the path. And uh, it, it's a well-marked trail. Now, the first time I came up here, I went straight, and that looks like the main trail. But if you'll look to your left, see this number one? That's your first clue. But your second clue, your best thing, are these orange diamonds. So walk right in between them. The trail goes right between there. So that's your loop. So it comes back and loops here. And let's go see if that copperhead's still there. I, uh, I won't kill it if it doesn't try to kill me. I just want to get back to my car. It's right over there. I mean, that's your parking area. And that's that sign. And uh, so it's not hard to find. You just got to be you gotta know what to be looking for. So now the scariest snake is the one you don't see. The one I did see didn't scare me, but now I don't see it. And it could be right by my heels. Uh, it's gone now. Maybe it's in the culvert, but I'll just uh, go on my merry way and let it go on its merry way, and maybe the two of us will never meet again. So, there's no problem walking in the woods as long as you're cautious, as long as you keep your eyes open. I was watching for rattlesnakes up on the hill and saw nothing, heard nothing, no problem. And then, see a copperhead when I... And the funny thing is, I'd walked through there just a minute ago and didn't see anything. Of course, I came back now and didn't see anything, but... Anyhow, here's the uh, entrance to the Cinnabar Mine Nature Trail. I don't want you to miss it. it. It's a fun, fun hike. Enjoy your nature hike and don't be afraid there's a snake under every rock. Uh, I, I've been up here a lot and just saw my first one. So uh, stay safe and stay aware. Thanks for joining me.